Welcome to the Nellie J Show, and here's your host with today's craft, Nellie Jasper. Host Nellie Craft of fox like material. We are going to make felt fox mask. And you can choose to do this a number of ways. Uh, this one was sewn. We don't have time for that, so we're going to use the hot glue gun. Um, I am going to warn you, it takes a minute to dry, so sometimes it's better to do batting, but we're not that brilliant today. And you will need your little fox template, which you'll cut out, and I have pre-set these. Um, so this is going to be the full out body. This is the front part, we'll cut that out today. And then you need its little white whiskers, which are also set. And of course, the little ears and a nose. So starting off, we are going to cut this piece out with my handy dandy tiny scissors. I would recommend these because they're significantly easier to manipulate whenever you're cutting them out, especially if uh, you're strapped for time because the big scissors do kind of take a little bit more um, cutting effort. Also, it makes it a lot easier when you go to cut out the eyes. Yep, and you'll just want to kind of hold the um, paper down so that you can get a more clean cut. There we go. That's where those little tiny scissors come in handy. However, be very careful you don't stab yourself because I've done that a number of times. Yep, yep. You totally don't have to make it perfect because at the end you can always, when you match up the, um, the back and the front, you can clean it up a little bit. Sorry, I'm totally like in awe of this cutting. Would totally focus more on that. So <clears throat> we're mostly done with that. We're going to go ahead and talk about how we're going to place these on there. Um, once you've got everything cut out, you'll lay, I would recommend uh, gluing on the white pieces first because that was the part we had difficulties with. And this is not wanting to cut. Oh man, tiny scissors, don't fail me now. Ah, oh, there we go. I knew you'd come through for me, tiny scissors. Oh, and we're going to take it on to a commercial, and we'll be back after these. Are you always having accidents in the kitchen? Ah! Oh, my. Are you tired of finger food? Literally, finger food? Ah! If so, you need the stop o knife. These gloves will stop any amount of pressure. Now you're free of any extraneous bits and pieces. Your hands will be protected from any injury. They're easy to put on and they don't inhibit movement. Never worry about ruining your dishes again. These tiny scissors ever again. I think they're about worn out. They've been cutting for a long time, y'all. All right, and we have the front part of our mask. Meanwhile, we're going to un 
then pin these. Careful, this is sometimes a tricky part, especially if you're in a hurry. Where I stab myself like 10 times, it's always fun. All right. Up, oh, runaway pin. And here we go. Trying to do this a little quicker. There may be pins all over the place, but it's okay, we're getting it done. We're almost there. Oh, I lied, we still have the other part to do. All right. There we go. Just got a dozen more so to go. We had entirely too much fun playing with these. It wasn't as much fun crafting them as I thought it would be, but we were sewing them. Okay, so starting out, you're gonna go ahead and line this about as good as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, because like I said, you can always cut it up in a little bit and match it up just a little bit better. There we go. Ooh. Careful, glue gun is extremely hot. Gonna make sure to not put too much. Kind of spread it out. There we go. Make sure we don't run out of glue. And there we go. We got one side and the next side. I kind of like to do the little uh, zigzags and chevron type print and be kind of cute with it. Make sure you kind of get the uh, edges. Don't put too much on the edges because whenever you press it down, it'll come out and you'll just have a nasty, sticky, gluey mess. There we go. There we go. We've got lots of glue all over the place. And going glue. There we go. So it's not exactly perfect, but we don't need it to be just yet. And then we're going to place this part next. Be sure to get lots of glue down. Might be slightly running out of glue. Make sure you push your glue stuff down because it just doesn't melt quick enough sometimes. And just a little bit more on the ears. Don't forget to do the nose. Aha. And we're almost there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you may want to line it up a little bit better than I just did. Ugh, oh, sticky glue mess. How fun is that? Okay, there we go. And then we've got our nose to glue on real fast. I'm gonna take a little tissue, take care of that. Ugh. And here goes the nose. And where did our ears go? Ha, runaway ears. Make sure that you look and see that this is the longer side and it matches up with the ears there. Because we managed to sew one on upside down the other night. You're a little OCD like I am. It was only, I was the only one bothered by that. Here we go, and almost done. Normally you would cut out the little eyes like right here, which is kind of the tricky part. We'll take this here. And normally you'd pin this down, but we're a little bit strapped for time, so we're just gonna be sure to Hold it on good, and where did those inefficient tiny scissors go? Ah, here they are. So you'll kind of pinch them. And we're running out of time, y'all, but essentially, this is what your little faucet mask should look like. We're gonna have the little holes cut out on both sides. This is a little bit thick. I'd recommend maybe like cutting them out prior to gluing them. And this is what it's supposed to look like, y'all. What does the fox say? Zero Fox. We're almost done, y'all. Zero Fox.